Welcome, my loves, to a new Pick a Card reading. Today, we're going to get you clarity on your beloved. If you've been in some form of struggle or separation, maybe you have little contact, maybe you have no contact, maybe they're coming in and out of your life. We're going to go deep on if they miss you. So what is your absence from their life? doing to them? How is it making them feel? What would they say to you from their higher self if they could? And what actions do they plan to or desire to take next towards you and your connection? So stay with me because we're going to get all that info for you. And if you're new to this channel, I am Dr. V. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to all of the new subscribers, as well as to everyone who's part of the Live Tarot family. I want to take a moment to thank you all for the beautiful messages that you sent me for my 500th reading, which was the last reading I did. So if you missed that, make sure you go back and watch that reading. It was super fun. And thank you so much for all of your love and support. And before we get into your card choices, I have an important question for you. So I'm wondering, are you feeling emotionally exhausted and heartbroken because your beloved, the person that you're watching this video for, has stopped communicating with you or has been giving you confusing and often mixed types of messages, right? You may be feeling lost and confused because communication broke down right? And you have no idea what that person is thinking, feeling, and wanting from this connection. So if you want true clarity, confidence, and relief from the pain and frustration that you might be feeling at this time, I really encourage you to book a private reading with me. These readings here on YouTube are general readings, right? And I always say that to be gentle with yourself, um, take the messages that resonate for you in your situation and leave the rest, but not everything may resonate for you. That is why the live tarot reading experience with me is truly transformational because we do it, the two of us live, we get together, right? And we get you clear, precise answers from spirit about your most urgent questions regarding your special person. And we even get you gentle guidance from spirit on what to do or not to do next, right? So that you can make some great decisions for yourself on this connection as you move forward. So if you're not ready for the live experience, that's absolutely fine too. My video recorded readings are also very healing and very powerful. And you can learn about all of them with my reading menu at livetarot.com. So let's get right into your choices today. You can pick number one, number two, number three, or you can choose them all and take the messages that resonate for you. So for group number one, we have the Badger Spirit. Be fearless and bold. For group number two, we have the B Spirit. Sweet results await. And for group number three, we have the beaver spirit. Lay a solid foundation. So go ahead and make your selection and we'll get started here with the badger spirit. Welcome group one who chose the badger spirit. Let's see. Do they miss you and what is your absence doing to them? What effect is your absence right now having on your person? So we're gonna get started with your tarot and then we'll open up these oracle cards right here. Do they miss you? Do they miss you? Four of Cups, yes. Okay, so I would say yes, absolutely. They miss you. And the reason for this is right now they are feeling extremely emotionally shut down without you. I feel that there is a tremendous amount of emotional pain that your person is going through right now. And oftentimes they are the type of person who when they're feeling a lot of deep pain and deep suffering, 
they don't know what else to do but to shut down their emotions so you know whether you're in communication with them or not their behavior is the same like what whoever is is experiencing them right now in their life as in their family their friends their co-workers they are seeing a very different person than the one that they are used to seeing i feel like this person is definitely coming through to uh, other people right now as somebody who's kind of had the air like taken out of their balloon you know like somebody who seems very deflated somebody who's distracted i'm getting the energy this person may be very distracted in their work right their co-workers may be wondering what's wrong with with them right like they look like they're you know experiencing a lot of um mental kind of torture um they're distracted they're unfocused you know they they feel like they're just going through the motions you know they feel like they're just kind of existing right now the life has kind of been sucked out of them um there's a, a deep sense of anxiety they feel very down very depressed very hopeless i also get the energy that uh the people who are close to your person family friends are concerned about them they feel like they're going through a bad phase they're trying to be there for this person but i'm not quite sure yet whether this person is confiding in them they might be tr trying to hold their heartbreak in for a certain amount of time they may not want to admit to the people around them that they are feeling some some sense a deep sense of loss like it may be hard for them to admit that quite just yet what else so yes, they are missing you and that is what your absence right now is doing to them. What else are they feeling? Knight of Cups. Okay, so they <laughs> look at this beautiful. I love the the way that this card is uh painted. I love that this there's this, you know, handsome divine masculine sitting here <laughs> with a bouquet of roses. So I do feel that your person wants to reconcile with you, Knight of Cups. So this may be a slower moving energy. So it may take them, you know, just some time to regroup to try to understand what's going on here. Uh, maybe I, I feel like they struggle with it conveying their emotions to you. You know, they may be somebody who has a hard time bringing their guard down like they want to tell you how they feel they want to pour out their heart to you but they may have a hard time making themselves that vulnerable like this may be somebody who needs to work towards uh, really opening up their deeper emotions they're afraid of getting hurt they're afraid of getting rejected i also feel that this person has a very romantic heart but in the past they have been taken advantage of like i can i can see that this person has tried to in previous experiences previous uh, relationships they have always tried to be the one to make things better they've been the one who maybe has shown up with that bouquet of flowers you know or whatever is the equivalent of that it doesn't have to be literal right like but that you know kind of like metaphorically symbolically they feel like they're always the one who tries to make things better they feel like they're always the one who asks for forgiveness or apologizes first and i feel like they're getting uh, to be like in a place where they they don't want to do that anymore there's a there's a bit of a doormat energy like I, i'm not saying they are a doormat i feel like they see themselves that way like they are tired of being a doormat to anybody they're tired of being taken advantage of and it's not to say at all that you are taking advantage of them but i feel like right now maybe they have been triggered into this kind of behavior which unfortunately it's almost like you are paying for the mistakes of people from the past and you know that is not your burden to bear that is not fair to you you should not be bearing the brunt of that or you should not be paying for the wounds that this person is still carrying from their past and that might be the reason why they may be acting aloof at this time that may be the reason why they're also this four of cups like this energy is very much about like i'm gonna cross my arms in front of me and be resistant like you know like i'm gonna throw a bit of a tantrum this is a bit of an emotional tantrum energy as well or it can manifest um, and it can 
can look and feel like this person is throwing a tantrum, right? Like, it's like this, you know, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to deal with anybody. I'm going to pout. This is also a very pouting kind of energy. I'm going to sulk. It's like a sulking energy. What else are they feeling? So I feel like your absence is really putting them in a very sour mood, okay? This person is coming across as sour. <laughs> Somebody who just really misses you and feels cranky without you, if that makes sense. It's like a cranky energy, Nine of Pentacles, okay? So they're afraid, okay? They're really afraid that you are going to discover that you are better off without them, okay? They have tremendous respect for you, the Nine, Nine of Pentacles. Like, they, they know that you don't need them. Okay, they know that you are not needy, you are not demanding, you you ju you just want them. But if they they also realize that if you if they cannot step up and be the kind of partner that you want, that you will walk away. That you know you're you're not needy, you're not trying to get their attention. You want their attention, you want their love, you want to work it out with them, but not from a place of neediness because you are very independent, you are very strong, and this person really does respect you. And what their, I think their greatest fear here is that you will realize that somehow they are not good enough for you, that you will realize that you are better than them, stronger than them, that you can move on and be absolutely fine without them. And I think that is what is kind of eating at them right now, right? Like they're just like, you know, what if you realize that, hey, I'm not good enough for you anyway, that you're better off without me? Wow, very interesting. So let's go deeper here. See, lighthearted, carefree time jug. So I feel like this person really enjoys the time or has enjoyed all of the moments that you have already shared together. Like they just love being lighthearted with you, carefree with you. They feel that you have a beautiful, again, independent spirit, right? With that nine of pentacles, it's a spirit of adventure. It's a spirit of independence. And I feel like they want a piece of that. Like, you know, it's like, ah, mm, whatever you have, I want some of that too. Like, you know, it's like they, they love your spirit and they feel like they're maybe not as happy as you are. Or maybe they're not as adventurous as you are. And it's like they want a little something of what you are having. You know, they, they, they want that, that, that spirit that you have to be contagious to them because they really did love that lighthearted, adventurous, really fun, exciting, very deeply connecting time that you have spent together. And I think they want to bring that time back into this connection change. Okay. So they realize that there are certain things here that need to change or evolve or grow for the two of you to, um, you know, move forward together, right? Like if this has been kind of a temporary blip, like you feel like there's a temporary kind of um, struggle that may be going on here, but it's a chance for you guys to regroup and up level together. But I also feel that in, in how much they miss you, they're also realizing that certain things are going to have to change in order for this relationship to evolve and to grow and to be something that is very satisfying to you, especially like, I feel like they have this and this, this sense of like, you know what I need to level up or this connection. I have to show up in a better way. I need to level up who I am as a person and who I am as a partner. Um, this relationship isn't going to be good, get to its highest um, potential without some sort of change. Okay. So I feel like if they come back to you or as you find your way back to one another, they are, they are not going to try to just go back to the way it was before. They're not going to try to just say, well, you know, nothing's changed here, but let's just, you know, move on. Right. Like they understand that it's going to require change and evolution, not just like status quo and see, they can't move on from you. They, even if they have tried, even if you feel like both of you have tried to move on and some time may have passed, I feel like there is a very deep past life relationship here. Could be twin flame, doesn't have to be. That's totally up to you if you feel that you're on the twin flame journey. But either way, you guys have known each other in the past. You guys have been together in one way or the other in the past. Now, it may have been a very strong friendship. It may have been a friendship that became a relationship or a romantic relationship, but those 
feelings run deep. And oftentimes when we have had very deep friendships with people, those are even more powerful, right? Because there's certain seeds that are planted there. There are certain types of very, very deep attachments that come from deep, deep friendships that have turned into romantic relationships. See? friendship. Wow, there's the confirmation. Nurture your relationships and friend and friendship. So I feel like there is definitely a deep deep friendship that has been the basis of this relationship. And this is something that is still there and is still very very powerful and that again may have come from some sort of a past life relationship as well. Um I deeply did feel that in whatever past life relationships you've had, you've been very, very close, very like thick as thieves kind of friends, you know, friends who like would die for each other, friends who would kill for each other, like, you know, like that kind of very deep sense of loyalty. So I do feel that that deep sense of loyalty has carried on into this this life as well and that is why you guys even if you have tried to move past one another you may be feeling that pull you may be feeling that you know i i don't know how to move on so let's get some specific messages from their heart to yours and if you could take a moment to give this video a like and a sub i would so appreciate it single mom here and it's such a win-win because it's free to you and it literally helps me to take care of my family so thank you I wonder if you still think about me. How do you feel about me now that you've had time to reflect? See? So this person right now with that four of cups, right? They are really wondering. They're wanting to know how do you feel? Okay, where are you at? You know, what are you thinking about them? They're dying to know what your thoughts and feelings are, what your opinions are about them. Because I feel like you may think they know, but there's something within them that is uncertain. They don't know for sure what you're thinking about them. My heart always comes back to you, even when I don't want it to. See, this is why I feel like for some of you, there's a special message. Maybe you both decided it's time to move on. Maybe, you know, this person ran. Maybe they were a runner. And uh, now it's like they may have run because they may have felt this intense past life connection. And maybe that was for some of you too much for this person. Maybe they weren't ready yet. They weren't on the path yet to living this kind of connection. So maybe they ran away and now their heart just won't let you go. Right. And now they're like feeling the full force of that. I've committed to someone else because they don't challenge me. Okay, so this is, take this as it resonates, it's not for everybody, but I feel that this is a special message for anybody who is in some sort of a third party situation. Not maybe currently, but maybe this person has left and because they can't deal with the intensity of this very deep past life relationship, maybe they because they weren't ready to acknowledge that they weren't ready to live that truth, maybe they have moved on and they're trying to kind of lose themselves in very casual relationships. Maybe they're trying to forget you some way by being with other people who just don't challenge them, who they don't really care about, but who's there as a casual convenience. Okay, so that's for some of you, not for everybody. So let's see what actions, if any, does this person wish to take? What do they want to do next? Well, they've definitely been in a, a form of solitude. I think that is really, really obvious. They've definitely retreated, but they are going through a time of introspection. Okay, so there's definitely been a bit of a, you know, a lull in this. I feel like that's because this person needed the silence to see, go deep within yourself. So they've been needing, maybe they needed your absence to go deep into themselves and asking themselves the question, right? Asking themselves what is real and what is fake here. So it's interesting because here in Southern California, today is the first day of spring. So isn't it beautiful that we're getting the spring card? Now, I know that for many of you, that is not the case, right? Depending on where you are. But I just think it's beautiful that for us, it is the first day of spring, even though we're in the middle of a rainstorm right now. But I feel like this is 
still the beautiful energy of your person wanting this love to bloom or re-bloom after a winter, right? After some sort of ending or death cycle, right? See, your love is blooming. Your answers arrive in spring. So there's definitely this beautiful energy of rebirth, regrowth, right? Maybe now is the time. Yes, we've been through a death. Yes, we've been through the some sort of a phase that ended, but now maybe we can start a new cycle, a new beginning of a time of beautiful blooming and a time of beautiful energy towards a higher vibration so this is why i'm saying and look how similar these two are see to me both of these are similar energies of change right when you raise your vibration within this relationship when you expand when you grow and you focus on the positivity and the lightheartedness and the carefreeness that you both used to have and you know that change is imminent change is there it is absolutely there for the taking your person is very honest about that. Like they realize that they cannot go back to the way it was, that that's not going to lead either of you to where you want to go. So I feel like they're very much wanting to make this relationship bloom by upping, expanding that vibration and bringing in the changes that are necessary for this love to bloom. I love it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me, which I talked very deeply about in the introduction, so if you missed that, go back and listen to that. I highly recommend the live reading experience with me. It has been very transformational for hundreds of clients. I love doing them. It's my absolute passion. You can learn more about that. You can learn more about the Oracle decks that I've used in this reading that also bring you a lot of clarity in between my readings here. You can order anything from the beautiful Live Tarot Cozy collection or the Blessed Twin Flame necklaces. You can learn about it all at LiveTarot.com. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you all on the next one welcome group two who chose the B spirit to your reading for do they miss you what is your absence doing to them at this time so we're going to start with your tarot and then we will open up these oracle cards so for group number two do they miss you how is your absence, whether it's temporary or not, how is it affecting them? King of Pentacles, do they miss you? Yes. <laughs> so I feel like this person, definitely a masculine energy coming through, really saw themselves as your partner. Okay, this is somebody who is definitely coming from an energy of partnership, of material realities. Okay, this is an energy, so please don't hold me to, you know, masculine, feminine. Usually it is a masculine energy, right? But you can please, please interpret it as it suits your situation. So this energy is definitely of somebody who sees themselves as your partner. They saw themselves in partnership with you. They wanted to create a home with you. They wanted to create a life with you. You were part of their plans for the creation of this. They felt very stable when they were with you. They felt that you brought a lot of security, a lot of stability to their life. And they wanted to show you the same. They wanted to also be able to offer you that sense of security. I feel like they felt like you were that solid person in their life, that shoulder to cry on, that shoulder to lean on, the person who gets them, the person who understands them, and with whom probably the only person, I feel like you are the only person, although they may have had other relationships, I feel like you're the only person that they feel that they could successfully build a life with. You know, sometimes we fall in love or like, you know, we have exciting relationships, but there's a voice deep down within us that may say to us, like, you know, this person may be exciting, they may be attractive, they may be sexy, whatever, but I don't see myself building a real life with them. 
right? Like sometimes we listen to that voice, sometimes we don't. So I feel like with you, the what makes you very special to this person and why they are deeply missing you at this time is because they didn't have that little voice telling them, hey, you know, uh, I, I care for you, you're awesome, but I can't see myself building a life with you. In fact, it was the, quite the opposite. And that's why I do feel that maybe initially that is what scared this person because this was the first time they didn't have a little voice from spirit telling them this is the wrong person. In fact, the, the little voice from spirit was saying, yes, you have struck gold. You have met the person now that you can build a life with, the person who could be a permanent partner for you, somebody who can bring so much um, joy, hominess, warmth. I'm getting a very cozy feeling. Like, see, look at this person. Like, th this this figure is very happy. This figure is cozy. This figure is comfortable. They they seem to be sitting in some sort of a library. There's like this homey kind of energy, and I feel like this is what this person really enjoyed having with you. They felt very cozy with you. They felt very homey with you. Um, they really enjoyed hanging out with you. There's an energy here of like, we just really enjoyed each other's company. We really just enjoyed hanging out together so much. And it was simple and it was fun. Like there's a very uncomplicated energy also from this person towards you. Like they felt like you're the kind of person who did not add any complication to life or to the relationship. You know, you were somebody who actually made their life uncomplicated, not complicated, right? So this is another thing that they very much um, enjoyed about you. This is also the thing that they miss about you. Your level of being able to simplify life in the best way. Like you are a dignified person. Um, you lead a dignified life and you're not choosing or wanting to add drama to anybody's life, right? You're not choosing or wanting to complicate anybody's life. You are wanting to have a peaceful and beautiful existence with this person, the world. So yeah, they're feeling right now, I feel like there's been a separation here. Um, something that has happened that has disrupted kind of like this idyllic life. Like I feel like this person was imagining a very idyllic idyllic life with you they were they had fantasies they had dreams of building a you know like a, like a utopia that's the energy i'm getting like they felt like it doesn't matter where you guys were in the world wherever you decided to build a life together would be your own private utopia your own private paradise okay so right now if there's been a struggle or separation they're feeling very alone and lost in that world because you were like what they created with you was that special Special safe haven what they created with you was that special place both emotionally and physically okay so I feel like right now in your absence they miss you so much because they're feeling very alone in the world they they're feeling like they have no shelter in the world they are raw they are open they are naked they're flapping in the wind right like there's no sense of that grounding there's no sense of that center um, there's no sense of that beautiful, cozy feeling of belonging that they had uh, when they were with you or when you were with them. So I feel like this person is very much looking for a feeling, that feeling of belonging to come back. Okay, they miss that sense of belonging. They miss that security, that safety. They felt that being with you was a shelter from the world. Okay, they felt like they were sheltered from the difficult aspects of the world uh, because they were with you. So you see how we're getting heavy pentacles energy in this reading. We have seven of pentacles here. So again, I feel like this, this connection is very earthy. This person could be an earth sign, doesn't have to be. You could be an earth sign, doesn't have to be. But there's a very earthy and grounded energy here. So this is why I'm saying you brought so much stability to this person's life. They felt that they were planting roots with you right and they were looking forward to planting this they were looking forward to not only that they planted the seeds and the roots with you but they were looking forward to what grew from that see this beautiful plant 
that is being nurtured and grown. Like they felt like you guys were building something, growing something together, um, that you were going to really enjoy the fruits of that labor because you both were building that solid foundation. They wanted to plant those roots with you. That's why I feel like this energy, this King of Pentacles energy is also very much that energy of spouse, like your spouse, somebody that you are laying the groundwork for a beautiful life. You may you know, be wanting to move closer to, to each other if this has been a long distance relationship. You may be wanting to um, move under the same roof, you know, be in the same home, be in the same space, you know, just start building that life. But without you, they felt like there was just a lot of distance. So I'm, this world's energy, again, take it as it resonates. I'm also feeling for some of you, it is, it may have been a long distance relationship. Take that, you know, just for those of you who, for which it applies, that, you know, because you guys may have been in different places in the world, it, it's, it feels very, very distant, um, very difficult right now without you. Hand, in need of help, assistance, and guidance. Yeah, see? So this person wants to reach out their hand to you. They want to reach out to you for your assistance, your support, because I feel like that's what they always had with you. Um, they felt that you always reached out to them, that you you were their helping hand. You know, um, they reached out to you. You were holding hands. You were both there for each other in your times of need and that you have both been giving each other that love, that support, that guidance. And they are really missing that sense of camaraderie that sense of connection i feel like the the image of the hand is very powerful it's like they want to hold your hand again um they miss holding your hand they miss connecting with you at that level of beautiful physical uh connection emotional connection and a connection that is very much grounded in that stability okay you were their power they felt very powerful in the world when you were by their side okay they felt like they could do anything they felt like they could accomplish anything you made them feel powerful and it doesn't mean like powerful in any kind of like, you know, negative way. You made them feel like a, a powerful person internally. You made them feel like they could achieve anything. There's a definite sense of inspiration that comes from you. Maybe you were the kind of person who and, and are the kind of person who makes other people feel empowered, right? Maybe this is not just this person. Maybe uh, group two, you're the kind of person who makes everybody feel empowered. Family, friends, the people you love and care about. Maybe that has been one of your spiritual missions is to make other people feel like they can also achieve their dreams and goals. Like you like to support people in achieving their dreams and goals. And I feel like you, you have done a lot to help this person achieve their dreams and goals, right? Like there's some sort of a power here that you have brought to their life. There's some sort of a internal uh, power that this person has felt. And that is so important because I feel like they were not used to being empowered. They were used to being weakened through codependency. So this person may have had some sort of addictions, um, codependency or toxic issues or people in their life before they met you. And so they may have been at a very low low when they met you. Um, they may have been suffering from codependency. They may have been suffering from, you know, trying to get rid of bad influences in their life. And that's another reason and why I feel like they value you so much, they miss you so much because you took them out of the weakness that they felt. You you took them out of that lack of power that they felt and you brought them back into a sense of self-confidence. You helped them to achieve this sense of balance that no, I am powerful. I don't have to let codependency or you know toxic people, toxic situations or addictions rule my life. I don't have to give my power away. And this is a really deep, deep healing that you've helped this person to achieve. See, enlightenment, pursue spiritual growth. So I feel like, again, they miss you so much because you help them to see things in a different way. You help them to pursue an enlightenment around their own life. You help them, guided them with that helping hand right here. See, you help them to achieve some sort of perspective. Maybe when you met them, they were really struggling. Like, 
like they couldn't see. They couldn't see their own problems. They couldn't see the solution. They couldn't see the pathway forward. And you lit up that path for them in some way. And so this is a very, very powerful, beautiful connection here. So let's get some specific messages of how they're, what they're thinking, what they wish to say to you. And if you could take this a second right now to give this video a like, a sub, it would help me so much. It's absolutely free to you, but it literally helps me, a single mom, take care of my family. So thank you so much for that. The distance between us is killing me. I long to hear your beautiful voice again. Okay, so see, I feel like, you know, this could mean physical distance for those of you who are in a long distance relationship, but this can also mean emotional distance that has happened because of some form of struggle or separation that is making this person feel like they are all alone in the world right now. So the distance, emotional, physical, spiritual, intellectual, mental, all of it, every type of distance that may be between you right now is killing this person and they are wanting so much to hear your voice again. I still feel connected to you, but I've waited too long to reach out. Is it too late for us? Okay, so there's a special message for some of you who maybe you've been in separation for some time. Maybe it's been a little bit longer than what you would want. And now this person, you know, so wants to reach out to you, but they're afraid that you've moved on, you don't care, you would reject them, right? Maybe the, that, that time period where things could have worked has passed, and now this person is regretting that. I feel like you're on the other side of my every breath. Wow, see? See? And I'm not surprised because these energies that we're seeing right here about the effect that you group two have had on this person, I'm not surprised that they feel like you're on the other side of their every breath because there, there's a very powerful influence. There's a very powerful connection here that you have. So let's see what they would wish to do next. What actions do they want to take? This one flew out. Surrender, detach, trust, and free fall. Have faith that all will be well. Okay, so they want to surrender to this love and they want to have faith that it will work out. Okay, they're really afraid. I feel like there's a lot of fear in this person. Fear of rejection. Fear that, you know, they'll end up alone in this world completely. Um, you know, a, a deep attachment to you that they're afraid of letting go. Like they feel like if you don't want them anymore, maybe they should detach, maybe they should surrender, but they're afraid to do that because they feel like if they did that, then it would be totally over, right? So they're not willing to let go yet. They don't want to let go. Um, they're afraid that they should or that the time has come. You know, for some of you, maybe it's been a longer period of time. So I feel like for some of you, this person, if there's been a longer period of time, they're afraid of detaching. They're afraid, like, should I let go or should I give it one last try? Should I, what should I do? So they're trying to figure out what that choice should be because see, they want to break through with you. Look at that transformation, breakthrough, reinvention. You're ready for the next level. I think they want to show you that whatever the issues are that have caused a struggle or separation, that they have transformed, that they have worked on those issues, that they have resolved those issues, especially if they come from this codependency energy, right? Like they want to, they want to show you that they have transformed at a higher level, that they've had a breakthrough and they're not the same person they were before, especially, okay, especially if it's been a longer separation. So see, we're getting divine feminine energy. So this is why I'm saying this King of Pentacles, kind of full circle, going back to where this felt like a divine masculine energy coming towards the divine feminine, okay? But you take it as it resonates for you, but there is a very strong divine masculine, divine feminine connection here that is desiring, that is needing, that is wanting to be transformed, okay? That is, that is like ready and ripe for a transformation. So let me know what you thought. And if you'd like to have a personal reading with me, and I talked a lot about the live personal reading experience with me in the introduction. So if you missed that, please do go back and listen to that because I think it'll be very useful for you. 
You can have a, a live or video recorded reading with me. You can order any of the Oracle decks that I've created and used in this reading. They are incredible problem solvers. They give you very specific answers to your questions about this connection in between my readings here and in between private readings. You can also go to livetarot.com. Everything is there um, and learn more about the Blessed Twin Flame Necklace or you can even take a look at the Live Cozy Collection. We have a bunch of beautiful magical goods there to just make your life beautiful. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here. Make sure you do go to livetarot.com and I'll see you all on the next one. Group three, welcome to your reading. If you chose the beaver spirit, let's see. Do they miss you? And what is your absence doing to them? How is it affecting them at this time, group three? So we're going to start with your tarot, and then we will open up these oracle cards for you. Ten of swords, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I don't see what could be a more obvious yes to the um to the question are they missing you and it's interesting because i think somebody had asked before last time i did this reading like um all of them were yes but well if that's what spirit says then that's what spirit says right <laughs> you know that's the whole point is getting guidance from spirit and if spirit says in all three readings with the first card being obvious that the person is missing you, then that is truth as far as I'm concerned. So yes, Ten of Swords, your person's hit rock bottom. Okay, they have hit rock bottom. This is like the most, the way they've drawn it here, you can't tell obviously, right? But normally this person on the Ten of Swords is face down on the ground with Ten Swords in their back. So it's a very heavy energy. However, the good part is that it is the end of a cycle. So I feel like your person has definitely hit their lowest low. And now the only way they have is kind of up, right? Like turning a corner. So yes, they are missing you desperately right now. They're constantly thinking of you, even maybe obsessively because this is swords energy, right? Um, you are in their head. They can't get you out of their head. And I think that is what is torturing them. That is what is bothering them at this time is that even though they may be trying to get you out of their head, they are not just not able to do that. And so I feel like there's a bit of this, um, you know, torturous energy that they're going through. I do feel that their tortured feelings about you is also depleting them right now. It's like exhausting them, right? Like they feel really exhausted. They feel like they have no motivation in life. Um, they may be kind of sleepwalking through life at this time, trying to find their balance again. So I do feel that this person is feeling very lost without you. Um, they're hoping to turn a corner because I feel like this may have been going on for at least some amount of time, some small to medium kind of amount of time. And so the thoughts of you are lingering the emotions, the memories of you are not going away. The King of Wands energy. So this person is feeling like they're questioning that if, hey, you know, I've tried so hard to put you out of my mind. I've tried so hard to move on. Maybe you don't want me. You don't, you know, we're not communicating. I feel like there was definitely some, some very deeply passionate connection between the two of you. Um, a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry, a lot of sparks flying between the two of you. But maybe part of the problem here was that somebody here did not have the strength to really see it through, okay? When I see this lion here, I just feel like there's something here about maybe this person um, or maybe both of you were not yet ready or didn't have the strength to really see this relationship through, as in maybe somebody ran from this because it was too intense. Maybe somebody stepped back from this because they didn't have the strength to fully commit their mind, body, soul, heart, everything to this connection because that is what it was asking of you. You know, sometimes when we meet that person who rocks our world, we are asked by spirit and by that person's soul, are you ready? to invest are you ready to step into this powerful connection because it's unlike anything you have ever experienced and you have to be ready for that 
So maybe this person was not ready. Maybe both of you were not ready, but they are trying to ready themselves. Like they want to be this king of wands energy for you, which is really the energy of mastering yourself and your actions, you know, being ready, prepared to go full force towards your dreams, your desires, your love, to not be afraid to actually claim that strength and claim the strength that is there within you that was always there. But can you claim it in order to move forward and actually claim the relationship? So I feel like that's the great regret that this person has. I also feel that that is what your absence is doing to them is that it is reminding them that maybe they weren't strong enough. It is reminding them that, you know, being away from you has been even more uh, stressful. It's been even more devastating and destructive than actually stepping up and claiming this relationship or claiming the, you know, this amazing connection, which even if you're not ready for it, why reject it? And I feel like if this person has rejected or run from it, they're now like reassessing that. Like they're thinking like, you know, maybe I wasn't ready. Fine. Okay, it's okay that sometimes you're not ready, but I shouldn't have run away from it. I shouldn't have rejected it or I shouldn't have let it go um, because it wasn't worth it. This Ten of Swords is far more painful than that, that feeling of not being ready. So there's still a lot of passion coming towards you from this person group three okay they're they're just there's a passion you may even feel it in your day-to-day -day life see they want a new beginning with you they know that they've been a fool and now they want to be able to take that leap of faith with you see they feel like maybe you the reason why you may be in struggle or separation at this time is because they weren't able to jump off that cliff like they weren't able to take that fool's journey with you, which is go on a new adventure. Um, have faith that it will work out. Free fall into the abyss, you know, with a trust, with a trust in life, in love and in the universe that no, this will work out. This will be good. I don't have to be afraid. See how this person, like she's like right in the throes of that, like I'm just going to fall. I'm going to trust and I'm just going to let go, right? And I'm just going to fall into this water and just trust that all will be well. But I feel like your person may not have been ready for that or you may not have been ready for that to just, you know, give your full trust and let yourself fall, let yourself go. I think this person really fell hard for you, but they did not want to let themselves fall for you in the way that would make this connection more real, more tangible, right? So in their mind, in their heart, they fell hard for you, but they didn't want to make, turn that into action at some level. I feel like maybe they, they delayed or they, you know, like they didn't, they, they did not, their actions did not reflect their true feelings. Okay. So in their feelings, they were falling for you in their actions. They were trying to either run from it or hide from it, or not give in to it, or not let themselves just, you know, ease into it. And that's so unfortunate. And I think that's what they're regretting now. See, fan, romance, celebration, and party. So this person, they want to fan the flames of this passion. <laughs> I feel like they want to come back into your life with a big dose of romance, with a big dose of celebration. They really, really loved. I'm getting, they loved partying with you. And I don't mean that in a bad way, whatever party means to you, right? I, I just mean how, whatever the, the word party or the word fun, the way in which you guys experience that. And it's so different for everybody. You know, they loved that energy. You know, what you, the two of you did together um, that brought you joy, that brought you enjoyment, that made you laugh, that made you just feel so romantic and warm and fun. Like that's what they want to recapture with you because there was a tremendous amount of fun and passion and romance there. And they really do miss that. Yeah, gratitude. See, they're very grateful for you. Very, very grateful 
for you. There's a deep sense of gratitude and appreciation for what they did share with you. And again, that's why I feel like this person with that Ten of Swords energy, like they are really hurting. They're truly and deeply hurting right now because they don't have you. Like they cannot hold your hand. I feel like this person really loved holding your hand. They loved being near you. They loved having you by their side. Um, they truly enjoyed your company. And I feel like they felt so much gratitude for you and now they feel like they they have no access to you or they're not able to even you know reach out their hand your hand and hold it yeah see give your relationship a chance work on your partnership so yeah they they're missing you so much they want to give this relationship a chance they want to work on this with you so whatever has caused something here where you guys have been absent from each other's life um, where you guys may have been really missing each other, but you're not able to get over whatever has torn you apart. I feel like for some of you, there's definitely something here. There's some sort of issue that needs to be resolved that is tearing you apart. And you guys, you know, may have just, you know, like even though you don't want to be apart, you've accepted it because you have issues between you that just don't seem to have an answer, right? And maybe you worked on it and worked on it and you both got exhausted. And even though you both worked on it, you gave it your best try, there just seemed to be no way out or no resolution. It was one of those things, one of those issues in life that sometimes, you know, you just can't seem to find a way. And both of you are so sad and so heartbroken because you still love each other, but you realize that that love isn't enough to build a, a successful life around. Like, right? Like you'll always have something that is making you um, unhappy, something that is stretching you beyond your limits, right? So this person, I feel like maybe they walked away or you walked away or both of you walked away because of that issue, that that sense of like, you know, it feels futile, right? It feels, it feels like this is not going to work out. But since since then, since this absence, since this them missing you so much and you being absent from each other's life, I feel like it has brought them a moment of epiphany, a moment of clarity that, you know, they don't want to give up on this, that maybe some time has passed and, and, and in that time they've realized that it is better to work with you, to continue to work with you than to, than to do this without you. You know, than to like live without you. I think the pain with that Ten of Swords, the pain that they're feeling in your absence is not worth the the pain that you guys have been going through. Or like, you know, the growing pains, like the, you know, the, the, the conflicts that maybe you guys were going through, that it's still worth it to go through those and try to resolve it. I think that's the epiphany that this person is now faced with at this time that, you know, it wasn't worth it. Yeah, it was painful what we were going through. Yes, there were so many issues that weren't, you know, resolved or seeking a resolution, but was it worth it to separate? I feel like that's what they're asking themselves. So let's get some specific messages from them. And I'd appreciate it if you could take a second to give this video a like, a thumbs up, and a sub if you haven't already. Single mom here, it just helps me so much and it's such a win-win because it's free to you to subscribe and it literally helps me support my family. So thank you so much. Time has brought me clarity about us. I made the wrong choices, see? Wow, what a confirmation of what I was just saying. That for some of you, there's been some period of time here where both of you have had that chance to think about this. And this person has really, look, we're getting clarity twice here. So there's been a major epiphany in this person's mind and in their heart, okay? This time has brought them the clarity that they made the wrong choice, that they should have continued to work it out or resolve, try to find a solution to your issues rather than to give up on you or, you know, both of you give up on each other. Our love was too intense for me to handle. I needed to break away. See, oh my gosh, look, that came up right under that King of Wands. And remember I was saying, sometimes there is so much intensity, so much passion, there's so much in this connection that some people are not ready for it, right? And 
it's it's like a decision that they have to make are they ready to step into something like this or not so i feel like this is a confirmation that for many of you maybe the issue wasn't a specific issue or challenge maybe the issue was that intensity like there was something here that is big that you need to be ready for i knew you were right but i knew you were right but couldn't admit it to myself or you okay so that to me is again part of this epiphany right where this person they knew that you were right they knew that what you were saying what you were feeling what you may have conveyed or communicated to them was true but their ego their pride their lack of clarity their lack of readiness for something like this made them not able to admit to that Wow, very powerful. So let's see what they want to do next. What actions do they wish to take? Yeah, see, they were in denial. There's a lot of denial here, a lot of repressed emotions, rejection, unable to see below the surface. Okay, so I feel like this person is de has definitely struggled with denial. They have definitely repressed their true emotions about you and this situation in many ways. And I feel like that is what they're seeking to get out of, right? And of course, that, that Ten of Swords can very much be a product of deep denial and deep repressed emotions, right? So they're working on changing their perceptions. And I feel like they already have because we already got the clarity card and the epiphany card, right? And the gratitude card. So I feel like they are really now seeing through their own false beliefs, okay? So whether it is the belief that they weren't ready for this level of a connection or whether it's the belief around some other obstacle or challenge that you guys were facing I think they've realized that their perception was wrong their thinking was wrong and now they're ready to see through their denial and their own false beliefs see they want to heal with you so they want to heal this connection um, they really want to work on this partnership and work on having this healing together because I think there are a lot of things that they want to say to you that they have been holding back that they have not been able to say or convey to you at this time up till now or especially during whatever time of this separation. So I do feel that they want to come to you. They want to offer, make you an offer of healing, of a conversation. Can we work on this? Can we talk about this? I know um, things were really bad. I know they may have ended very badly. Can we talk about this? Can we try to heal this? So this is a beautiful energy for reconciliation. So let me know what you thought. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me, I talked a lot about why the live reading experience with me is so transformational, what it can do for you. Um, I talked a lot about that in the introduction, so if you'd like to get more information, go back to the introduction and listen to that part for sure. Um, you can also order any of the Oracle decks that I've created and used in this reading. They are also very powerful problem solvers. They give you very specific answers to your most urgent questions in between readings with me or in between my readings here on YouTube. You can also take a look at all the beautiful magical goods we have. We have the Live Cozy collection um, of magical goods and we also have the beautiful Blessed Twin Flame necklaces. You can see it all and see my reading menu as well at livetarot.com. The link is in the box below. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you all on the next one.